For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. The 11th of April marked two years since the arrest of Julian Assange. Assange was arrested from the Ecuadorian Embassy in London in 2019 and has been held at the High Security Prison in Belmarsh. Commemorating the day, progressives around the world organized demonstrations demanding his release while also opposing his extradition to the United States. The extradition request against him was denied by a magistrate's court on January the 4th, but he continues to be held in judicial remand as the prosecutors representing the United States appeal in higher courts against the decision. Assange is being indicted in the United States under the infamous Espionage Act and the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act. He faces a total of 18 federal criminal charges against him, including espionage and cyber crimes, which together carry a maximum sentence of 175 years. Julian Assange is being strung up and tried for protecting all of us, right? Because they're not inherently after Julian. They're here to take our rights away. They're here to remove our civil liberties and make it so we don't even have the ability to organize or know what is happening here. Protesters demonstrated all across London in an open deck bus carrying signs which read Free Julian Assange or Don't Extradite Julian Assange. As it's, there's no charges against him and it's, I'm, I feel he should be freed immediately. I think he's, it's uh, arbitrary detention, I think is um, the term the European Court of Human Rights have come up with for it. And, and I think they're right. You're just detaining someone because he's revealed truths that are inconvenient to the a lot, a lot of the Western states' activities in places like Iraq and Afghanistan mistreatment of people which is really really are war crimes and because he's revealed details that are uncomfortable then he's been in prison for it and that's really the behavior of a despotic country and I would prefer Britain didn't behave like that that's not what I, what I believe British values are Despite the fact that Assange faces no criminal prosecution in the country the British courts continue to incarcerate him at the behest of the United States the Joe Biden administration continues to pursue the Trump era policy of prosecuting Assange and the WikiLeaks for exposing US war crimes in Iraq and Afghanistan. In the United States, demonstrations were held at the Ecuador Embassy as well as the Department of Justice in Washington, D.C. Many have been raising concerns over Assange's deteriorating physical and mental health, which were grounds for the London court to reject his extradition. His condition has only worsened inside Belmarsh in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic. In November 2020, a major COVID-19 outbreak in Belmarsh was reported by family and close associates of Assange. During the trial, expert witnesses have repeatedly pointed out that he is a suicide risk if the threat of extradition continues to loop. In Australia, Assange's home country, a major campaign has been underway to get the government to intervene. The conservative Scott Morrison government has been accused of exhibiting sheer indifference even as several parliamentarians have been demanding counsellor assistance for him that has been denied so far. Assange's family has also been working tirelessly to shore up support. Between February and March this year, Assange's father John Shipton led a home run for Julian to across Australia to rally support for the campaign for his release. In the meanwhile, Stella Morris, Assange's fiancé, has been fundraising for his legal aid in the continuing extradition appeals against him. Days before the anniversary of his arrest, she called on people around the world to participate in vigils and demonstrations on Sunday.